Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... Today we're going to show you how to speed up sound files with Audacity, since Gaiden Live can do it. Now we've had several viewers ask us questions on how to do this, so this is the video for that. Yeah, okay guys, to demonstrate this, we're going to show you uh, using this video clip from Aiden. I think I did that completely wrong. What is important is if you have separate sound and video clips, then sync them up first before you do this. Now we're not going to speed up the whole clip, we're just going to show you on a small snippet of it how to do it. And let me find the beginning and end here. We're cutting these two pieces off. I'm going to cut off this beginning bit as well. Delete it. Okay, so this is what we have. And I'm going to right click on it and do split audio to get the audio out. But they're still grouped, as you can see here, they're still connected. So I'm ungrouping them. Right click again. Okay, now they're two separate clips. And let's add our speed effect to the video clip. And I suggest you don't do more than 50% if you want to speed up the audio, otherwise uh, audio just becomes a mess. You can't listen to that. And I'm showing you here how to measure the, the length of it. So you saw there on the bottom right the difference between 33 and 55 is 22 seconds. It's important that you remember that. I've already zoned the clip. And here you're going to select audio only. And typically I use file rendering. I'm going to set this to force progressive. Um, although I think that's only for, for video. And selected zone is important. And here, since I want to do this quick, I'm going to just use that WAV type file and set the name to speed up. Obviously in my project folder. And then render. You'll see it's very quick. If you use MP3 or MP2 on, in this case, it takes longer. Uh, since I, I guess it has to convert the audio file from one type to another. Let's go to Audacity and open that speedup.wav sound um, file. And we're just going to ignore this warning since we can easily recreate that snippet. Going to effect, change speed and notice at the top it says affecting both tempo and pitch. Typically here you'll have a 1 I think by default like this, and the percent change, and let's try 49, uh, but we want a little more, I think, 23 seconds was it? Let's increase this, uh, actually decrease this percent change, there's 22, Let's do a little more. 46 about. That's 22. So let's export selection here. Make sure you're in the right folder. And we'll change the name of this one to speed up underscore speed. And you can pick different file types here if you want. But we go stick to MP3. It's the default. Don't care about the metadata in this case. Go back to Caden Live. Import the new clip. And let's see how far it's off. Maybe it fits. Now you'll see on the right here it's actually a little bit too long. So we want to go back to Audacity. And it's so quick to do this. At, uh, Let's undo the change. Ctrl Z also works. Change speed. So let's go back to 
49, this might be a good number. That's it, it's a little bit less now. Now we just overwrite this speed up underscore speed file. You know, all the metadata, and you'll see in the background, can life already imported the change? And that looks better now. Now this, the video and the audio clip is similar length. And this one makes a chipmunk sound, as you can hear there. Makes you sound like a chipmunk, if you just speed it up. But there's another way to speed up files in Audacity, and that's by using this change tempo effect. I will just use the same number here. And notice in the bottom right it shows the time on this one. So this doesn't change the pitch, only the tempo of the sound. So it means you sound just like you used to, just a little faster. It doesn't raise the pitch. I will save it again as uh, speed up underscore tempo. Let's import it here in Ken Live. And drag it down to our audio track. You'll see I mute the, the older sounds every time so that we only have the one. And you can hear it sounds very similar to normally, just faster. And sometimes you want that kind of effect. So again, let's just compare the three sounds here. Here's the normal way. Get it completely wrong. Normal sound. This is the chipmunk sound. Get it completely wrong. And lastly, just normal sped up sound. Get it completely wrong. So there's two ways to speed up your sound files using Audacity. Right, so in this video, Dad showed you how to speed up audio files with Audacity because Caden Live can't. If you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.